I can't believe we're listening to a podcast that should be on Spotify for free. If you ask me, anyone subscribed to this Patreon is a giant sucker. Especially you. I'll be it. Big McThankies from McSpankies. <laughs> Lamella, can you please shut the door? I, I had a note here that said, this must be an alternate universe where Al Gore won the 2000 presidential election because the EPA is not only relevant, but it's also militarized in this universe. Like, why does the well, EPA have, like, military helicopters and, like, specialized soldiers why the fuck were these Harvard hacks, like, so fearful of the EPA, like, especially after, like, Hurricane Katrina? I it's feel like, like half okay. of them work for the oil lobby anyways. They probably all, like, they probably have, like, a day job working for Marathon Gas. On on an all-new Simpsons, Homer works for Exxon. Exxon Mobil, where you can get gas and we can kill your ass. Ah uh-huh. ha ha. Homer works on an oil rig and makes a bunch of money and becomes rich. That's the episode. That's it. Hey, guys, work for oil companies. You'll get rich. We promise. You won't die. We promise. Marge, I accidentally spilled a bunch of oil in the Mexican Gulf. Oh, Ernie, it's okay. Just just ignore it. Marge, Marge, (laughs) I'm covered in the oil. I look like Carl now. Oh, homie, don't you don't you know that's toxic? Your life expectancy has been shortened by 20 years. Yeah, but now I have a bigger penis, Marge. Oh, homie. You always said you had a thing for Carl, Marge. Well, now that I'm covered in the soil. Oh, homie. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done with this that. This is the worst fucking recording we've ever done. No, no, no. I, I still, I think, um, uh, I think the Clerks was uh, way worse. It was, it was not motivated at all. At least here we have something to fucking talk about. Um, right. So going back into the, you know, the the movie, nuking Springfield, I think is so weird because it, it wouldn't actually solve the pollution. If any, it would just make more, wouldn't it? Well, I mean, I, I I think the EPA in this movie, they're not, like, written as, like, environmental extremists. They're more written, like, the Russ Car- Cargill character is kind of written as, like, a businessman who wants to, like, turn Springfield into a tourist attraction. I don't think he cares right. about pollution. All right. Uh, yeah. Also, I'm, I'm just now realizing that, like, a thousand dollars that they get in Alaska in 2007 can apparently buy them a fucking cabin in Alaska. How how does how does that work? Is inflation that bad now that a thousand dollars back then was like house money? Yeah, thanks, thanks Obama. Yeah, thanks a lot, Obama. I <laughs> oh get get, get out your two thousand eight insults of Obama. Damn, oh, oh bummer. What 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 else is on your fucking notes? Uh, Grand Theft Walrus Game of the Year 2023 confirmed. Oh, 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 it's like Grand Theft Auto, but it's like a penguin. Uh, it's penguin because oh. it's Alaska. Uh, <laughs> uh, Take that, Happy Feet. I bet I bet all the Harvard hacks writing that were like, yeah, Happy Feet. Thinks that they're hot shit because they make tons of money. Well, take this happy feet. Takes take take this all the penguin movies of two thousand and seven. <laughs> Why were there so many penguin movies? Because penguins are cute. They're marketable. They're you know, they're just cute. Uh, I guess you're not wrong. Uh, yeah. Immediately after the Grand Theft Walrus, there's the sudden low point in the movie. There's the whole like. I don't know. I thought the fake to be continued was kind of funny, although it uh, it's kind of cheesy in hindsight. But like, wait, they're gonna cancel the Simpsons now? <laughs> what? 
Okay, Wait, Homer and Marge are never going to get together in the Simpsons movie? What? It kind of makes you, it, it gives you like a moment of pause where you're just like, what if the Simpsons actually ended like this, where, where Homer gets like heartbroken and just drifts off on a piece of ice into the middle of nowhere? It, it's one of those things because, yes, it feels all redundant because I know they're not going to actually break up. And yeah. I feel like okay, we're wasting time that could be spent in cool dystopian Springfield. But the thing Honestly. is, is like the, the music and, and animation uh, for uh, Homer's sort of like uh, spiritual journey, mm-hmm. it is really cool. So it's why I kind of excuse it, even if it is nothing new, because Homer had a spiritual journey in the episode where he ate the really spicy chili. Yeah, I mean, I th- I actually wrote down here that uh, on top of the old Inuit lady having massive bahung donkaros, uh, yeah, you got a boner. <laughs> huh? You got a big boner from that? Oh yeah, I got a big old floppy boner. But anyways, um, I thought I, I thought it was kind of funny because like all the budget for the animation must have gone into that epiphany scene. No, dude, the animation in this movie was top notch. No, yeah, it was good. If like. With modern technology, I feel like they should be able to replicate that sort of, like, style, like, on par nowadays. Because, like, that sort of style of The Simpsons feels, like, really nice. The animation of this movie is top-notch. I think it looks better than most anime. It's just the problem is, like, it's just sometimes it feels like a waste because I'm just getting, like, oh, some dumb shit like Grand Theft Walrus. Yeah, yeah. Don't have a cow, man. I carumba. Eat my shorts. Eat my fucking ass. Guess what, you freeloaders? This is a premium episode, so you could get the rest of this on Patreon for $5. That's right. You get like an hour and 23 minutes of uh, content with this review on Patreon, along with other uh, premium episodes. Uh, yeah. Yeah.